Okay, there's a new addition to the studio. It's a Behringer Model D. This is a Minimoog clone. More specifically, it's a clone of the 2016 reissue, I believe. It's got um, a couple added features like a extra LFO and a high pass filter mode. So I have a MIDI keyboard off screen. Let's just hear it. Um, there's an LFO that the original didn't have, so you can use it for vibrato or whatever. It goes pretty fast. And reasonably slow as well. got a rate CVN for the LFO so you can modulate it externally if you want the uh, LFO to move around. You can send the LFO to the filter as well. So a little bit of Mini Moog history for me. I had a 1977 Mini Moog. Um, this was an older serial number before they changed the oscillator boards, pretty sure. Uh, there's a few different revs of Minimoog oscillator boards, but the later ones, I believe, were much more stable. Um, it was really good. It sounded good. Um, but the physical controls, it was old, so they were kind of scratchy, the knobs, and the filter mod switch didn't work. I had to get the key, keyboard bushings replaced and stuff like that, and the mod wheels weren't very good. So I foolishly sold it. I got okay money for it at the time, but they've since increased a lot in value, so should have kept it. Um, this thing eases the pain of uh, losing the original a little bit. Um, it's very small. That's maybe my biggest complaint with it so far is that I've bumped the tuning a couple times while adjusting the oscillator waveforms. Like that. On the original you had lots of space to get you like your whole hand on the knob and you really felt like connected to the instrument so there's maybe a little bit of uh, disconnect here it definitely feels more like using a sound module but for the price it's hard to hard to say no to this I got it used for a little bit under 300 Canadian so less than 300 for a mini Moog I'll take it This is the mixer section, you have the three oscillators and then you also have noise and an external in which they have normal in a feedback loop situation so we can hear what that sounds like. Let's hear the high pass filter for a second. So low pass and high pass. Feedback with a high pass filter is going to give you some more like um, high pitched feedback squeals. So 
so the original mini moog can't really do a sound like that um we can swap out the lfo mod for vco3 i think yeah and we'll take vco3 out of the mix and put it to low So just for fun, we can hear some um, modulation of the filter while it's self-oscillating. It's got these keyboard tracking switches, so if you want to play the filter like an oscillator, you need them both on. Um, we'll get rid of the envelope mod to the filter. So that's the filter. And we can bring up the oscillator 3 mod. Square was sounding pretty good. And then you can mix the LFO. So I'm running out of time. Um, one thing I wanted to show is the different ways you can do feedback on this thing. So it's normal to the external end, so you can do it that way. Or you can go out the main out. It sounds a little different. It picks up earlier. And then I found some weird behavior with the headphone out where the pitch started going all crazy. It's kind of neat. So that's it. Just wanted to give a quick demo to show what's new in the studio. Thanks for watching.